about that. So I've got some air coming from this plastic line here. And uh, this makes a circle. But I did notice this piece. This piece is laying in there. And uh, looks like to me it's broken. Broken. What's it broken off of? Probably that piece right there. It's got something to do with that piece right there. Arm from this one here that I got an issue with. So, how much of this do I have to take apart to figure out? This uh, looks like it's broke on the edge there. Hope you guys are not too far away. It's broken right there. All right, bring it back when I find out more. I would assume that uh, it's so quiet right now, but my son will be back in a minute. And he'll start talking to me. Where's that guy going? Anybody know? Oh, here's the part number of it. Oh, jeez. Oh, you guys can't see it. You still can't see it. Anyway, it's a 1 8, 1 6 9 coats, it says on it. 1 8, 1 6 9. Yep. I'm looking at this arm over here. It's got a pin on the side of it, so I assume that that goes in this groove here. You know what I'm saying? But where does this mount at? You know what I'm saying? Where does it mount? Back in there somewhere. Off to this is a door to it. It's all air, all air operated unit. Yep. All right, if you guys have seen such things, everything's marked with coach numbers on it. Yep. And there was a... Right there. All right, there's the piece that's broke up. There's the piece that's broke up. Here somewhere's there, there, there near my finger. So there's two indents. What I mean by indents, there's kind of like two holes here, there, and there. So if I mount this guy in here, looks like to me I can make. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make those attempt it. This is 70 some dollars. This piece is hard plastic. I could never find the other piece at the bottom. Or did I? Now that I said I couldn't find it. There it is. Piece of it. Yep. Anyways. I'm going to attempt that, see how it works, probably won't work. Sure. Alright, so I was trying to figure out how I'm going to get the holes transferred from that piece of metal, which I showed you prior, to this piece of uh, plastic poly whatever. And so what I did was I used uh, color dye, the dye, you know, you smear it on there. And then I put it in there where it's supposed to be at, and through the holes I scratched. And when I scratched, I come up with two little marks right there, like that. So now we drill these little holes. And we got two little screws with washers on it. So these, these to beef it up more. All right, so we're going to try to get this guy in there. And uh, I'll show you when I, uh, I'll show you. All right, so I got it in there. I got it cranked in there. It was a uh, little kitty wampus. I want to put screws and nuts on the back side. I didn't. I got one nut on there that now I can't get off. So, and uh, it didn't uh, go in exactly how I wanted to, but she's tight now. It's tight. And then I'm just going to put this arm on. This arm on now and uh, give her a try. You know what I'm saying? 
see what, what's going on, but uh, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. So I got that piece of back in, and what uh, has occurred, I had to take the top screw uh, bracket part and elongate it, so it helps right so You can see what it's doing. I was not doing that before. It would uh, come out and then go back in. But uh, get you looking behind these two hoses here, what you're seeing. The air leak, I still haven't figured out how to get rid of that. So what it does is it goes around. It goes around and then it does right. You can maybe see it. It's quite too bright now. But, uh, oh well. If these hoses weren't here, I could probably show you exactly what it's doing, but, uh, hoses are there. And the lights ter lighting's terrible. And uh yeah. They come out. See it kind of hangs up right there. Just that little bit. I think I did that before. It's that little last little bit. This lever gets caught in there. I don't know. I know it's not doing what it was before, but I could probably put some grease in there. Or some WD or something. Just that little bit. Thing. You're exactly right, but uh, you'll have to believe me. This arm, this arm right here, goes through a little channel thing, and I showed you previously what a little channel thing looks like outside. So I'm just gonna put some uh, oil and some grease in that in that little slide, so this stuff will tend to work better. Well, maybe what caused the, the break, anyways, is because of uh, lack of maintenance because so I've done nothing to this thing since I've had it so and this is the first thing I've had a problem with right here other than this leak underneath there that seems to be a good way of getting rid of it the water down there is from trying to find the leak so there's like air coming up underneath this thing here it looks like it's one of those little filter things over yonder looks like it could have been one there but this hole is in the road so they took it out, I don't know. But, uh, hope this helps someone. Help someone how to, you know, if you have a problem with that thing not wanting to stay out, this is, this part's probably broken in there. And, uh, I'll show you how to give you a little way to how to retrofit the, uh, part. You know what I'm saying? Alright.